Bobby with Day After Day Gaming here to bring part two of my first playthrough in Eratus, Lord of the Dead. So yesterday I left off, I had to run because I had some company showing up and they ended up getting here early. So I had to cut the stream a few minutes shorter than intended. So the plan today is to catch back up and at least try to finish the tutorial as it were. Then maybe we can actually get into a full game. <clears throat> All right, so we are here. Crescendo. I don't know why I like that one. I guess like because it debuffs the enemy's damage to us. So it seems like it'd be a good one. I guess we'll just work, work on trying to kill them one at a time. Sounds like the best thing to do right now. That demolitions effort would do, or expert would do something more. So we already saw that special for Rose for a Lady, so we should try a different one. Let's try something else. One of the other people's shots. <laughs> he just lit himself up. That is crazy. He's gonna do like a suicide attack. Shit, better try to kill him. Okay. We saw that one before too. Let's see, we still have the skeleton and the banshee. What are their specials? <sighs> that one's a stress attack to everybody. Doesn't feel like it'd be very exciting though. <clears throat> well, I still got time to kill him because he doesn't come up till here. Oh, what? Can't use her special. Oh, because she has to be in the front. Wow. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate, I guess. Well, then in that case, we're going back to the Rose for a Lady. Your frail bodies fail. <laughs> yes, he's insane. Oh. Holy crap. He just killed my guy. What the hell? That was lame. Just lost my Dark Knight there. They get 50 Arch Architect Souls. I 
I guess we'll throw wraith in there now. Check him out some. Construct a building in the graveyard. Oh. <clears throat> okay. So after attaining freedom, Eratus turns his prison into a base of opportunities. Or sorry, a base of operations. Constructing new buildings demands the sacrifice of minions and special resource architect, architect souls. Buildings need to be staffed by minions. More minions lead, tend to leave it all. Can't talk today. More minions lead to greater benefits. That's what I get for waking up early and deciding... Well, not early, but waking up and doing a stream first thing in the morning. Oh, well. I guess it could be worse. Oh, wait. Oh, wrong, wrong way. Yeah, yeah, I already read you. Go away. So we have a library. Does it say what they do? Well, it does. Each minion studying the books gives Iraqis 35 experience. Okay. The obelisk. The mystical obelisk attracts wandering souls. Every minion next to it generates four to six souls of the architect. Applies after a victory except quest battles. So if you want more souls, architect souls, that would be the place to come. Abode of Wrath. Each minion at the Abode of Wrath gives Eratus 12 wrath at the beginning of the battle. Excavation. Each minion find exploring the ancient burial ground finds a random part. What if that's like a random part for uh, leveling up creatures, I guess? Applies after a victory. Okay. Eratus statue. So each minion restores 8 mana. Praising the Necromancer at the monument, each minion restores 8 mana. Applies after a victory. Mortuary. A powerful aura of death fully restores vigor. Applies after victory except quest battles. Well, that one seems like it might be the most useful one. If that restores vigor for all my monsters, that could keep me going with the one strong team for longer. And finally, the arena. Training at the arena, minions gain two experience points. So I wonder if that's to the ones fighting or the ones in here. I would assume the ones fighting. Let's do a mortuary. What do I build? What if drag a zombie there? Ah, oh, got it. Okay, you drag the monster. You kind of had a, a corresponding monster in the box. And then I'm going to build it. A fully constructed world is not just a place to restore my minions to fighting strength. It can hold them in stasis, preserve <laughs> Got it. Then we have to sacrifice other monsters their masters to level them up more. Well, I guess there's still a skeleton in here for now. Let's try this. Let's put this skeleton is not hurt in there. I'm going to put the one that is a little hurt Oops. in here. Just want to see if maybe it just means whatever monsters you put in here get healed. Maybe that's what it is. So I might have had the idea wrong for what it did. And same thing with that one. Let's build another skeleton and see if we can figure some of this out. So we're going to build another skeleton. Fill it in. Crap. Let's build a another Dark Knight. Since my other one died. And another zombie, just so at least we have a full group. Well, we're going to lose one, though, with the zombie, right? <coughs> that's okay. And then we need a... No, that's good. Let's go with that. So here's what we're going to try. We're going to build the arena... By sacrificing a skelly. While this place is intended to be a training ground for my minions, the fights themselves have proven to be a rather entertaining time waste. So I'm betting that we're going to get two experience by leaving a monster in here. Oh, okay, you have to build it with more points, which I don't have, so that's okay. So let's put our Dark Knight in here, and see if after the battle he gets two experience. What is he in that? Can I look? Oh, come on. I can't look. That's fine. I mean, I just built him, so he shouldn't have any experience points anyway. Well, 
alchemy. That's new too. Alchemy! Eratus is proficient in several alchemical disciplines. Transmutation, the transformation of one type of part into another. Distillation, increasing the quality of parts. Extraction, crafting items from available parts. And calcination, expending parts to gain mana. Okay, so I can convert two parts of the same part to a higher part. Let's try with dust. I got lots of dust. Okay, I think I gotta click it again. Distillation is what I want, right? I think it is. Oh yeah, look, it's green now. Okay, there you go. Right click. Right click shortcut key. Alright, what else can we do? Cover two parts. We're gonna do in that one. Okay, so that's all distilling right here. Got it. Extraction. Convert two parts of the same type and rarity to new items. Okay, so you actually, you do, you make items that you can craft into things. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to use my only two armors I got. Could get some evasion. Let's do that. A skeleton will clean up this mess later. Okay, cool. So yeah, we just made an item that gives us evasion. Oh, we got a lot of skeleton heads. What does that turn into? The skulls. Here it is. A golden tooth! Gives us more luck. Alright, alright. I think I understand how this all works. Seems fairly straightforward. It's no goal, but it will do. Oh, this concludes. Okay, so this is the end of the tutorial. And continue this current game or on Cakewalk or restart the game on more pain difficulty. Alright, I think we got the basics of the game. So why don't we go ahead and put it to the normal difficulty instead of Cakewalk. We'll just delete that one. And here we go, starting on more pain. This is probably where I'll be dying a lot more, so let's see what happens. So we already got a starting party here. Oh, we do have some starting parts. Okay. You know, we'll probably not worry about stuff. Let's just go with this party we got right now, and we'll see what happens. So let's start off on the dungeon. Do our first battle. So this time, my only tricky part is I got a zombie that I did not have before. Is that a banshee before? We'll see how different the fight is with a different character in here. So we're just going to try to kind of continue what we did last time and just work on taking them down. <laughs> not going to worry too much about the stress and things unless the attacks deemed that we need to do those. Alright, so let's see. This is going to be a little bit different here. So we got a magic attack. Seems like an odd thing for the zombie to have magic. Hmm. Okay, then we got buckshot. 
So it's going to do 50% damage to the chosen target and two enemies behind it. Okay. So I do like eight damage to here and then eight damage going down. Interesting. Ignition deals 30% 45 damage on target and an enemy standing behind it. Sets target on fire three turns. Hmm. Or we have more powder. Oh, 100% more damage for his next attack. Wow. Well, let's see how magic works. We haven't tried that before. Let's just do a volley on the front guy. Okay, so it was straight up physical damage, not stress. I was curious if it would take on like both or something. Alas, it did not. Oh, sweet, got critical. Nice. Okay, just make sure I didn't miss any weird icons. I'm full on mana, but I don't really have a spell I want to use. So I think we're just going to attack. Got it. So what it's doing is default into this attack. I was trying to figure out what these arrows were. So I missed this on the tutorial. So if I highlight them and currently have my W button lit up, which is red, it's showing me that I'm going to move forward three spaces. And then he's going to be pushed back. Huh. I think we'll stick with Smite. Just piercer. Oh, what? How do you reach her? It's all the way in the back, damn it. you guys okay what did a buff with the night it made him stronger Actually, no, that might have been the skeleton I was thinking of. Yeah, that was probably the skeleton I was thinking of. He has a, something that increases defense. We're good, we're good. Alright, just gonna attack. Let's try buckshot, see what that looks like. Oh, nice, it's a freaking can he's lifting up. Got it. Oh, what does he have, like one hit point? Oh, he does, he has one freaking hit point. Seriously? As worthless as you were in life, you will be worth something in death. Oh, we missed. Son of a bitch. Ooh, cannonball, yeah, let's see the cannonball. Boom! Oh, really? We missed? Stupid zombie. Let's see what that one does. Whoa! The big skeleton head came out of the skeleton. That's kind of cool. We got some cool looking attacks here. Pierce that chest. Look into my dark soul. What can we do here? Bombardment. Let's try that out. Oh, wait. What? Oh, got it. I have to pass it on myself, not the enemy. Got it. Still learning. Tutorial didn't quite explain everything 100%, so. Do some more stress damage. 
Yeah, that's right. Take my green skull to the face. Yeah, that's right. I want to see how the bombard looked. So we took a little bit of damage. Definitely the enemies are tougher in this mode than in the tutorial. But I am playing on a little bit harder difficulty instead of being on Cakewalk doing the tutorial. This is the More Pain, I think it was called. So they're definitely tougher. So I'll definitely need to make extra monsters to kind of swap in and out while we get some healed. If I have that luxury to do so. All right, let's do this. Let's build a couple extra monsters here. Let's throw a Banshee in. Do we have enough parts? Yes, we do. Perfect. Go ahead and craft that. You will learn to enjoy your wretched let's build a wraith too. I at least we got one of each creature. And let's build one more skeleton. That way I can swap in and out the skeleton. If we build one more, we can have a full second party, actually. Hold on. Let's do that. Let's build another... I like the bride. I like her range. Let's do another one of her. We're going to throw her in the back. That way, we, now we have two parties. Yeah, let's do that. This way, we got two separate parties. And what do I have extra parts of? Let's go and build one more skeleton. This is so in case we come across somebody we can sacrifice, we can go ahead and burn them. Oh, we got a talent too. Let's get a talent spell. Let's get the bone spear to start. I like to have at least one physical damage attack in magic if possible. That way I can just, you know, attack and do damage to some enemies. Okay, so we got our talent done. Yeah, you know what? I totally missed our parts being up here. <laughs> Things you miss when you're not paying attention, right? Okay, we probably don't have enough parts to build anything in the graveyard yet, so let's skip that. We already did our creation. Alchemy, not going to worry about that. Talents already did. Humanarium? Oh, I don't know what that is. I don't remember that from the tutorial. Okay, to the dungeon. So we have two choices here. We can go here, oh, which is a quest. Okay. Or we can go here. It looks like there'll be dormant minions for us to get. Can I like, move around the map? Can't. Oh, there you go. It is click and hold and drag. Okay. I feel like we should do the quest. Let's go see what the quest is. So let's choose our squad number two just because our first squad's a little hurt. Actually, no. I changed my mind. Let's go back to one. They're not hurt that much, and then we got another fight coming up here, so we'll use our other combat squad for that. That's what we're going to do. Oh. Okay, so we have, like, quests with events. Let's see what this is. This is new. Despite what one might think, undead make better use of weapons than humans. Sure, they are not... Uh, they're sorry. They are very capable of killing by simply using their supernatural strength. But when you combine that strength with the correct tool, you can get truly spectacular results. Unlike lesser necromancers, you take particular interest in prospects of gaining human weapons. So when you hear of a cart delivering swords and spears to the guard traveling along this route, it seems too good an opportunity to waste. Well, you know, if we're playing an evil necromancer, we're going to ambush that damn cart. Let's take it. Oh, shit. These guys are stronger. This might have been a mistake. Oh well, too late now. Huh, these guys have a lot more hit points. Alright, we're going to go ahead and do a buff. Give us some extra damage right now. 
for the rest of the round because I think we're going to need it. Offensive stance, okay. Don't know what those stances are about. Here they are. Defensive stance, whenever a minion moves, attack it for 100%. 16 to 18 damage. Alright, so I don't want to move right now. Offensive, holy crap, 26 to 28. That's ridiculous. Alright, so let's try not to move around. That'll be our tactic. Okay, I think the best bet is just try to pour on some damage, hopefully. Let's do bombardment. And of course he's gonna trap. Okay, so... We're gonna do this one to give us some more bonus armor for our skeleton. Well, you know what? I keep forgetting I have the bone spear now. Duh. Let's attack these guys. Wow, three, two damage, really? Ugh. They must have a bunch of armor. They don't. Oh, yeah, they do. Nine armor, seriously? Wow. Did not notice. I'm gonna have to try to weaken them and kill them instead. Okay. I've changed tactics up a little bit here. We're gonna start needing to do some stress attacks, I think. Well, I can attack with her at least. He doesn't have armor. Let me try to kill him off, maybe. I don't know. First time I'm coming across a group like this, I might. Oh. The whole point of this was first time playing, I might die, right? So here we go. Might die. Oof. Getting walloped right now. Let's see if that goes through armor. 12 vigor one? It does, okay. So the 12 vigor attack will go through armor, that's good to know. So his attack, the skeleton attack, actually ignores armor. We should definitely use that. Oh, is he out of his he's out of his stance? Okay. Now we can attack him. So that stance is what was protecting him. Okay. I'm learning here. It's a little tricky. Tricky bastards. He still has nine armor. What the hell? I was wrong. He still has the same armor. Pointless to look. Okay. See, I think my tactic should have been to weaken them with, uh... Yeah, my skeleton dies. Oh, he's not dead yet. Uh, anyway, I think I should have weakened them with, uh, stress attacks and taken them out that way. 
that would have been a better idea, so I kind of screwed up my fight. But we will. S we're gonna go ahead and finish off the fight regardless. So we'll see if we can just win. But my skeleton's down to what one hit point? Yeah, one hit point. Awesome. It's abyssal hunger. At least we'll get some damage on him. And we'll get some healing for our Dark Knight. At least he'll still be alive. Better than nothing. <laughs> Trying to do as much damage as I can to these guys. Hopefully we can at least kill one of them off. Yes! Alright, down two. That's not even going to get through their armor. Shit. <sighs> yeah, we're just going to do hollow stare. If that's not going to move me now, we're good. We're good. Oh, they missed the skeleton. He's still alive. Oh, but now he's dead. Hey, he survived a lot longer than I thought he would survive. Can't complain about that, I guess. Okay, so. I guess we're going to do this one, Ignition. Alright, so Ignition considered magic. That goes through. That would go through armor. That makes sense. Shit, I should do this one then. Now that I moved up a slot, I can do Flames of Love and do some more damage. That's right. Ignite you a second time. Oh, did it stack? Oh, did you see that? Look. So we got igniting mixture for two turns and flames of love for one turn. That's cool. Impair this wretch. Oh, he's totally trying to escape. I don't think I can kill him in time. Let's try. Oh, it's gonna be close. I think I got him. Yeah, he goes down for the count. Sweet. dies. Yeah. Look at that. Okay. One casualty. We lost a skeleton. I got another one. So it's not terrible. We even got a green armor. Interesting. And a Mimir. That might be an item. So after a quick battle, the humans are dead and you order your minions to unload the cart. Already you can see that the hall is massive. We've got Vagrant's Rags. And smoking bands. Huh. Well, that's cool. You know, we got some shit to put on. Let's put some of the shit on. Well, first off, skeleton. The spare skeleton. We'll go right there in our party. All right, then let's go back to our campsite here. We need to put on our artifacts. So we got Undertaker's clothes. Might have had that before, actually. I don't know. Ah, Maybe after victory, all minions that survive get an additional two experience points. Yeah, that would have been nice to put on. Vagrant's rags. Oh, that's gonna replace. What does that one do? Enemies are ten percent more likely to drop parts over to like more experience. For Eratus. Yeah, maybe we'll keep that to get more experience level faster. This one is ring. We can put that on. That one is what? Oh, each time I use a spell, a random enemy deal is dealt 15 stress damage. Yeah, that's nice. Let's do that. Oh, we got a talent. Okay. 
Okay. That does straight up stress damage there. Hmm. I feel like the flaming skull might be a good choice. Now that I know more about the magic and the armor, but now that I do know about the fire and stuff, I think doing the ignition effects might be good too, though. Let's do that. Alright. Onward back to the dungeon. So our next move is to go here. We'll go with our squad too, since they're not hurt yet. We'll do leveling later. Why can't I move? Do I need to go? Oh, I have to click there. Got it. Got it. So you don't actually go to the next square if it's empty. You have to click on the next active quest in your area, as it were. Alright, well these guys should be the fairly easy starter guys. These two do have shield blocks for melee attacks physical attacks I mean so I just need to watch out for that they will block my first attack so I could do a smite which would get rid of one of those and then the second one will get through and then I can attack him now we'll just go and do a soprano la 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 debuff debuff you all right, so we got a couple new choices because I moved the wrong characters around a little bit. I can now do Flames of Love, which does an ignition, so it's going to set things on fire in the last certain number of turns. That's going to be now for my armored guys when I start getting armored guys again. So I could just do a straight up attack, do some damage. Yeah, we're just going to go and do that. We're just going to try to take him down further. 19 damage, nice, nice. Oh, two attacks. Forget you. Alright, now this is a new one I haven't used yet. Let's got to see his skill. Necrotic wind, stress attack, dealing some damage. Okay, removes the buffs. Loses all initiative. Huh. Okay. Evolution. Gain eight dread till the end of battle. Okay. Ghosty Veil. Trap. Nah, I think we're just going to do necrotic wind. Oh, we had a physical block. I did not see that. We did. That's cool. Just get one free attack. Okay, Rose for a lady. Yeah, let's just do it. I like this one. It's a decent attack. So. Since it does hit everybody for some damage, it's a nice, a nice one to use. Right. Oh, Stoke Flames have to cast? Oh, that kind of sucks. I thought it was going to be like a passive. Well, that might have been a useless one then. Again. Smite! Now if I get both, he should die. Yes! Yeah, we're just gonna do a stress attack. Oh, are you going insane? I'm sorry. No, I'm not. Oh, so close to getting rid of his sanity. He has two left. Oh, that's gonna hurt. He's gonna do a bunch of damage to one of us. Wow. Okay, don't know if I have a way to counter that. Try to kill him off. Crap. 
this one into furniture. Ow! He's about to go. We've got to stop him somehow. I don't know if I can. Ooh, would that work? Remove all buffs from the target? Let's try that. Oh, I guess that's not considered a buff. Dang it. We'll do a Soprano then to make his damage weaker, hopefully. Oh, he had a heart attack. He died. Ha ha. <laughs> so, uh, for those who don't know about the game, or may not have seen the first stream, if you get the stress, their bottom number, which is the purple brain number, all the way down, any attack against them, a stress attack, may actually give them a heart attack and they instantly die. Of course, it won't always work, but it's worth a shot, right? So I'm going to try it again. Let's do a shield banger. See if we can kill him with heart attack. My kingdom comes. Nope. So we'll just work on him the normal way. Try to kill him off. Yeah, the the chance for a heart attack is pretty slim, I believe. I don't know what it is off top. I tell you, I don't know. Yeah, it just says has a chance to die, so I don't know what the actual number is. Probably like, you know, 1% or something stupid. Probably not that low, probably like 5 to 10%. Anything to do with this one? Oh, well, there you go. Got another heart attack. That works. And he is dead. So that fight wasn't too bad. Came out pretty good with damage. Just a banshee and skeleton took a little bit, but not terrible. We do have some people leveling, so we do need to take care of that. As you say, I have a bunch of people who are level 2 now. So let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and deal with that. The race. So I did not get to use this attack because it wasn't in the front two rows. This one was in the back. That actually worked fairly well. Ghostly Fire. It's a curse, huh? Yeah, I don't know if I'll use that too much. Did not get a chance to use the evolution. Or the Ghostly Veil. So right now, my main attack, if I stay in the back row, is going to be the stress attack. So let's see what we can buff up or change. Okay, so if we go to Winds of Oblivion, it actually pushes the enemy back two spaces is the difference. So, well, the way leveling up character monsters works, you have two different sides, the left side and the right side. And you choose one of them, and you will get this bonus that's here for the character. Along with whatever effect. There's one change, generally, that I've seen on the spell or spells of something that happens. So, for example, this one will give us 6 accuracy. And he does have 90% accuracy, so he's, he's already pretty good on accuracy. But, I mean, it wouldn't hurt to get to 100, right? Then he'll never, never miss unless he has a debuff. But, this attack, all it does is push an enemy back two squares. Because you can see as the plus 2 at the top, right underneath the red heads for the armor heads. It shows the character moving back two squares. So let's see what our other side does. We get three to our evasion, which we don't have any evasion. So getting some to evasion would help us dodge more too. And that one gives us, looks like, more stress attack. We do 125% damage with our stress attack versus 100%. So personally, I'm thinking this way would be better to go. I often prefer the damage over the effect. My enemies are so let's let's go for that one. Nasty surprise. Okay. And our bride. So chest pierce is one of my most popular attacks that I like. So I would probably choose to do something with that. So it looks like we have a choice of doing. The Lung Piercer, which has a critical hit, will stun the target for an action. That's not bad. Except bosses, obviously. They're immune. The other way, though, is a critical hit will do more damage. Huh. I think I like the idea of the stun better. But wait, down here we can get a straight three attack. Oh, what's this one? Oh, we can get more buff?
So this one would give us plus 8 attack and plus 8 dread into the end battle. So we'd actually get more of a buff if we used the buff first. Which may not be a bad idea. Let's do that. Me well, get more of a buff. Minion. So now we have the plus 2 damage and plus 2 dread. We get a little bit more of these two factors. So they're higher than they were. So hopefully that'll help us fight and do more damage. With our bride. Our banshee next. Let's see. I do like the... No, not the whale. The soprano. I do like it because it does hit everybody. It does reduce damage. The attack power of all the enemies for at least the next turn. So I think we should stick with that. So this one reduces the enemy's evasion as well. As the six attack. Although this one reduces the damage they're going to be doing by to 8 instead of 6, so let's do Crescendo instead. Yeah, let's do Crescendo. I like that idea. Alright, and then our Skeleton here. Let's see, what can he do? I normally use the double attack. What's it called? Smite. I like that attack, so let's see what our choices are. We can get this one, which is additional attacks for each buff on the target. Okay. That could be interesting. That could be like three to four attacks, depending if the enemy has buffs. Our other one would be 4% chance to immediately kill the target. Ooh. If that's 4% per attack, that's pretty good chance, I think. And then if they don't have buffs, I just get a straight chance to immediately kill them. Let's do that. Let's do it like that. Let's do that. Expect results. Yeah, you do. You're going to get them, sir. All right. We probably should go and level these guys up, even though we haven't really been using them, but that's okay. So let's just get him some flat damage, because we definitely need some flat damage. Although, getting the armor wouldn't be bad either. But I feel like I want to get him some more attack damage, because he's not very strong physically, so getting him some more physical attack would work. So let's give him that. Then our Banshee, or sorry, our Bride of Arath is here. We'll do something different with her. We'll do, uh, let's do Flames of Love up for her. And then our Zombie. So this one, I don't know yet what to do. It really depends on where I'm going to place him in my line. Like, if he's in the back, I'm only going to be able to do Bombardment. So let's see what that does. We can do this one, which is... Okay, more damage. 70% of our damage instead of 55. It's not terrible. What's this one? Oh, it changed the damage to magical. Ooh. That could be good, too, though. For the armored guys? That would work really well, really well against... But I'm thinking if I get his accuracy here instead, we can get closer to where we won't ever miss with it, so that might be better. Yeah, we're going to do that one for now. Alright, is that everybody? I think everybody's good now. Alright. We do need a replacement zombie to swap this guy out, probably. Ooh, I don't know if I want to use the armor on him. I kind of think saving that for somebody who's stronger would be better. So I just want a regular zombie, so we have extra. So we're going to throw him in our first party. So we're getting healed. That's not bad. So let's see what the next thing... Oh, we're going to get healed anyway. So I wonder if that's one party gets healed. Hold on. We're going to do something here. We're going to switch our party around a little bit here. Move up to this. Yay, and we refilled all our hit points for this group. Actually, that first group right now is not terrible. We might use try them out. 
Or this group. They're both good groups right now. Alright, let's move our map a little. Let's see what we got. So if we go this way, we get a battle plus stell. Contains records of past battles. Can be used to raise the level of minions or Eratus himself. Okay. This way, ooh, we do get a chest containing artifacts, though. That could be good. Yeah, let's go that way. Let's see what the chest has in it. Okay, so... We're gonna hit these guys with our spear. First up, Vorpal Smite. Attack of the Conscript! Oh, no 4% automatic death. That's okay. Oh, don't attack my archer. Screw you guys. Alright, so we're going to do more powder first. That way his next bombardment I'll do will be twice as strong. I think that'll be good. And you're going to go ahead and do our crescendo. Oh, damn, we missed one. Shit. Oh, well. Now let's do our chest piercer. Although we could do this one, he might die. Let's do that one instead. We're going to do the flames of passionate love. So he should die when his turn comes up, One more for the stockpile. Yeah, that's right. Haha, you missed. Let's go into a Vorpal Smite. Yeah, this guy will work. Come on, no instant death. Sad. Oh, screw you. Yeah, we'll keep Crescendo going. Less damage is always good. Huh, weird. Alright, now we're going to do our Bombardment. That'll happen next turn with extra damage because we charged up first. Now, let us... We do have Rose for a Lady up. Could do damage to everybody. Oh, and we got our Bone Spear back. Let's do that too. Double it up here. Bone Spear! Ranch. And Piercer! Pew pew! Bone Spear's back. Alright, let's do that again. Alright, Vorpal Spite! Kill him! Healing. What? Are you running? Oh, hell no. He's gonna run. I gotta kill him somehow. Do this one. You're gonna skip your next turn. What do you think about that? Oh, that came perfect. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. Nice. My nice timing on all that. So our archer took a little bit of damage. More than I would have liked. What is this? A humanarium token. Okay, that's new and wasn't in the tutorial. Of course. Let's go see what that is. We got a ring of terror, too. Oh, we should be able to build, build something. We can go do that, too. Bunch of stuff to do this turn. Alright, so this group is now healed. So we'll probably take this group in the next battle. Let this group heal. Yeah, it's definitely nice to have a couple different battle groups. Because that way, while one is taking some damage and you're swapping in and out some people, you at least can get, uh, you know, another group of battle-ready uh, people going. So you can kind of have three or four battle groups at one time. So I see why they laid it out like this. Definitely makes sense. All right. So, oh, I don't know what we need. Let's go in the graveyard. I want to build something. Let's see. What do we want to build?
So this one could be good if we have somebody who's really, really low. Interesting, we already have two things built. I didn't build these. Oh well, I'm not going to complain, we'll take them. So we need to get a couple extra guys. So why don't we put a zombie in here? No, the library's not built, never mind. Well, this place is built. Yeah, the mortuary is built already. I think I built that in the, tuto in the tutorial with the arena, but that's weird. Oh well, I'll take it, whatever. So let's put a... Uh, restoring Vigor. Let's put our bride in here to get her back up to full. We need a Dark Knight in here. So let's build an extra Dark Knight. I don't want to sacrifice the one we have because he is level 2, right? Let's not use that armor. Because we're sacrificing him. Needs its generals. You go there. Whoops. No, you go. Stop that. You go there. You go there. And you go here. And you're going to be sacrificed. Oh, we need an extra one, though. Uh, What do we have? Lots of bones, hearts. And we got one of those. All right, so we'll go ahead and build one more zombie. Time to bring out we got talent too. We'll do that in a second. Guns. We can do that now. This time, let's get a. Through extra parts. The will becomes free. Okay, so now we're gonna go and build the library up. How unfortunate of me to rely on mortal knowledge. And then we're gonna put a zombie in here. It's akin to trying what that's to gonna do now is allow us to crumbs. get 35 extra experience for Aratus after every battle. I should have done this earlier, because then we could have been getting extra battle level and get more talents quicker. So I had to kind of screw that up. But you know, that's okay. Still learning. Still learning. And like, see, this one would be good to do too. We need a wraith for it, and I don't think I can build any more wraiths right now. Yeah, let's not build too much more up just because we need to get some more parts before I start using them all. So we'll just kind of wait a turn or two. To the dungeon! So let's get our free item. Oh, let's take Battle Squad. I don't think it'll matter. One's fine. We shouldn't get attacked, so. And the box is we got one there. Spiked carapace. Okay. Pharaoh's mask. All right. And the liquid desolation. Oh, we pick one of them. Got it. All right. So armor doesn't seem that exciting. Getting one XP on a critical hit. Not too interesting. Random enemy loses thirty luck. That may not be terrible. Or we get a fifty. Oh, let's do that one. Yeah, 50% chance to stun enemies with destruction spell. That could be useful. Well, you know what? We probably should go. We did get new uh, equipment, too. Alright, Liquid I Desolation. Mortals tremble before me. Well, even more than previously. Well, that's interesting. So the Ring of Terror actually increases the baseline chance an enemy will die due to a heart attack by 15%. Let's do that. Wait, not that. This one. So the other one was giving us some extra stress damage on a random enemy. But I think if we can get the stress down quicker for some enemies, then this would be a better idea. More of a chance to immediately kill them with stress damage. Alright, back to gameplay. So we have a battle here. What is that guy? I have this guy with like a yellow thing around him. Uh oh, he might be an elite or something. Okay, we're going to go ahead and use group one. The Banshee's a little hurt, but... I think that would be a better choice right now.
let us take a crescendo attack here. Go ahead and start with them doing a little less damage. Let's go and use a bone spear. Do some damage here. This wretch. All right. I feel like might as well just chest pierce. Get him done quick. Oh, he's an elite. Yeah, he is an elite taskmaster. Okay. We're not going to worry about him. Let's try to get rid of the other guys first instead. Oh, dang. I forgot we had a demolition guy. He can he outright kill one of our other guys. Try to kill these guys relatively quickly if we can, but don't like the fact that we have these elite and the demolition guy who wrecked us last turn. Yeah, let's go and do Rose for a lady. Why is he running? This it seems weird that he's already running. We haven't even done anything yet to him. It's really weird. Oh, we missed. Son of a... Oh, crap. He's going to kill somebody if we don't hurry up and kill him. This wretch. Oh, sweet. We stunned him. Nice. That'll be good, hopefully. Try to pour on the damage, see if we can kill him. Oh, he ran away. Whatever. Elite guy's gone, that's fine. Oh nice, attack your own buddy, thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, let's not waste that. Let's save that for next turn. Yeah, that's right, you skip your turn, ha ha. Oh, he has some resistance to magic. Nice, nice, yes. Perfect. Shoo. Killed him before he killed us. That was close. I was afraid he was going to kill us. He was kind of a pain in the ass. Oh, yeah, okay. So we got 35 experience for Aratus, and our bride healed 28 points, so that's good. So now we can go in the graveyard and swap her out for our other one. Yeah, we'll do that. So that's cool. So if we get multiple of these unlocked, we can actually heal multiple party members at one time after every battle. So once you get a lot of parts, it definitely feels like you can have a good-sized group going and maybe it won't be as bad as it feels like. I thought it was going to be a much tougher game. But it's actually not bad for kind of starting out. It's easier than the other game that's like this, which the name of it escapes my mind again, but I forgot to look it up yesterday. The zombie gains 50% damage for its next attack. Oh, it gains a block and a ward till the end of battle? I think I'm okay. I think I like this one where you get 20% accuracy. That way, hopefully, you won't miss. Let's do that. Now, prove yourself worthy of my investment. All right. I think we're not going to build anything else right now. We have a quest. Oh, well, let's do Battle Squad 2. That way, it'll give Battle Squad 1 a little time to heal. Deep in the dark recesses of these cave networks, you find what looks to be a mural. 
The language of the text carved into the stone is familiar to you. It is from the time of your ascendancy. However, a lot of the words are faded and cracks run down the smooth surface. The touch of time is definitely visible here. You do know the magic that might restore the text, but it is rather unreliable, should you still attempt. Well, we're being adventurous in the stream, so you know what? We might as well just do it. So let us weave the spell and see what happens. Oh, wait, here we go. I didn't even notice you could highlight and see what it does. So it looks like it'll cost us 20 mana. We're at 68. Probability success, 75. Failure. Well, you know what? Let's give it a shot. What's the worst that happens? After expending a great deal of mana, your efforts yield results. The text flashes and you see the rest of the script that had once faded reemerge before your eyes. Reading the words, you realize that the mural was created sometime after your defeat by a fellow necromancer. It seems like he was a great fan of yours and even continued to work on some of your old designs in seclusion. This could come in handy. So we got 400 talent points. Holy cow. That leveled us up several times. Awesome. Let's go look at that real quick. All right, so I think I want to do this one because it allows us to do transplantation, which means that we can replace parts in a menu with higher quality parts of the same type. Reveal their secrets. Oh, that's cool too. Increase the chance of receiving artifacts. Sure, why not? Let's do that one too. Reveal their secrets. What do we have? Oh, that was all our points. That's right. The level, this tier, the second tier, actually requires two talent points to get. And I forgot about that. But that's okay. Eh, we're all good. Like, see, all the way down the bottom, it takes four. Wow. All right, let's take a look and see how we're doing so far. We've been going a little bit over an hour. I think we're still okay for a little while longer. So let's continue onward. Okay. Let's attack our next group. Then we have a choice here again. We have two different ways to go. I'm probably going to go the ancient coffin path. Although we'll have several fights in the way in there, but that's okay. Oh, let's choose Battle Squad 2, and let's go to battle. Oh, we have a new monster. What is that? Sorry, a new hero, I guess. What the hell? Is that a golem? It is. It's a stone golem. Wow. He has 15 armor. Gonna have to stress. Oh, wait, he doesn't have a stress bar. What the hell? How the hell do I kill that guy? Shit. Okay, well, that's gonna be interesting. Impale this wretch. Oh shit, I forgot they had block. Oh well. Alright, so. I guess we're not gonna be able to do stress damage to him. Oh wow, we also can't ignite him on fire, really? Wow. That is crazy. Well, let's just work on the other guys, I guess. Not sure how we're gonna take out that stupid golem. How's that buff now? Oh, accuracy? Okay. I think I'm going to have to move forward with him because I need to get a magic attack to damage the golem. Possibly. Of course, I can't. Figures. All right, we're just gonna have to attack one of the other guys for right now. So let us. We'll just go ahead and focus on this guy. Oh, this just sucks already. Okay, that would actually hurt the golem because he only has 15 armor. So maybe what we should do is power us ourselves up. Let's do that. So let's power ourselves up and try to do a really big attack against the golem. Uh, 
And it's just kind of stupid. I can't buff myself? Really? Fine then, screw it. Attack! Okay, let's try a cannonball. This can do 60 damage against this guy, in theory. Fifty-three. That's passable. <sighs> Such a pain. All right, that might take off the rest of the stress. Oh, so close. Five left. Let's take off the rest of the stress. Maybe we can give him a heart attack. Buff with now, what the hell? Oh, accuracy again. Let's do shoo. No, let's save it. I want to save for that other attack. Let's just attack this guy for two attacks. Ugh. Hoping he would die. Damn it, they're wrecking our knight right now. Shit. Our knight's gonna die! Ah, you died. Entertainment. Right, let's go and buff him up again to do more damage against the big guy. Oh yeah, our knight's dead. Damn it! Shit. And we got the trap damage. Getting wrecked here. Rich. Well, our skeleton is probably going to die next. If we keep skeleton alive or not, gonna try. So let's do this. Let's let's buff him up. See if that will help him stay alive. It probably will kill him, but that's okay. If he dies, he dies. Ooh, got another cannonball. I should kill the big guy off. Oh, damn it! Missed. Shit. Better not miss. One by one. Yeah. Fucking killed that goblin. Or golem. Goblin. Golem. Golem. Alright, gotta kill this guy off. What's he at? Yeah, we can get him with this if we don't miss. Taskmaster time. He is full health though. Cannonball! Better not miss. Oh, he's gonna run. Come on, kill him. Kill him. Nope, not enough. Oh, really? One point away? Okay, this should kill him. Shit! 
A tough ass fight. Damn Gollum. So we lost our Dark Knight. I have not been having good luck with Dark Knights in these battles. Both of them that I've created have been killed. Luckily, we survived the overall battle. So I guess that's good. And it's not like they're weak characters. They're strong. They got a ton of armor and everything. But, I mean, shit. Just getting creamed. All right. So let us put our skeleton in, because he is severely in the need to get him, for getting healed. So we're going to try to heal him up. And I guess we need another Dark Knight. Really need to get some of these guys opened up. But we won't get them open up until we fulfill certain objectives. So, like the mummy, we can get when we get a minion level 5. So we've got a guy at level 3. Our lich will kill be coming in after we kill 21 more enemies it looks like we have to defeat some bosses haven't done any of that yet we got some wrath on abilities turn people into vampires wait how do we turn people into vampires wouldn't we need the vampire to turn people into vampires huh, weird I don't know shade trigger insanity debuffs gather bones anyway that's how you unlock people in the game so you gotta do stuff Okay, so let us fill him in. Ooh, he has three things here. Do we want to use three sets of items? Green item. Shit, might as well. Maybe it'll help him stay alive longer, right? <laughs> Since we haven't had luck any other way. Oh, not a skeleton, though. Screw that. I want a dark knight. That's what I want. Fill it in! I only get one extra thing. Nah, I don't want to waste it on that one, so. Regular... Dark Knight. Oh, an inspiring leader, but irrelevant for the armies of undead. Okay. However, we could go ahead and upgrade him. So, for those who may not know how this works, you have brains down here. The brains can immediately level up a character to the desired level, which is the number here. So we can, for example, level up our Dark Knight to be level 3 immediately. But, the brain goes away. However, with our current situation, I think that is our best bet. We're going to do that one. Do we have anything give more health? No, just this thing, which we can't get, so. More accuracy. He's already 100%. I think we're good on that. That is um, resistance. No, initiative. Initiative. I feel like I just want to go more damage. My Let's do it. enemies are in okay. for a nasty surprise. Oh, we leveled. Didn't even pay attention. Talent level. What can we do here? Ooh, 12 to 4, 24 physical to the same target. Might be good, but with some of our recent stuff going on, I feel like... Oh, we can't get it anyway. Cost two talent points. Duh. Never mind. Let's see what we got here. Deal some stress damage to a target. Eh, no. Two initiative for two actions. Restores mana after every fight. Eh. I got plenty of architect souls. Bomb could still be a good idea. Maybe we'll save our talent point for now. I don't want to waste it, you know, on stuff. So let's just go ahead and go back to the dungeon. So let's go to the ancient coffin. And we'll see what we got. But let's swap these two just in case. We got some nasty over there. Alright, we can select one of these three items. We can get a plus 8 evasion, demonic essence. A plus 12 luck, golden 2. Or a magical damage received reduced by 18%. Let's go with evasion. Ah, I can use this. Oh. 
So what that should be able to be done is we should be able to put these on the monsters to give them boosts. So let's go ahead and put on, like, the evasion on this guy. No, once you put it on, you can't take it off. Oops, oh well. I think it's still a good idea to put it on him. He needs some help, so. Staying alive, considering he keeps dying. You know what, let's level up our zombie here to level 2 as well. You know what? Let's make this guy magical attack instead. No. Yeah. I don't know. I did like the Abyssal Bombardment. Now yeah, let's let's make him magical. So we're gonna have two different zombies. We'll have one that's magical damage and one physical. That way, if we have somebody that know now what they are, we could do you know the other damage instead if we need to. Okay, back to dungeons. So, our next step... Oh, we have to go here? Crap, I was hoping to just skip that guy. Oh well. Let's go and use our second battle squad, who has more health, I think. To battle! See, it looks like we should be able to skirt past by them, though. But, whatever. <sighs> Darkest Dungeon, that's the name of the game I was trying to think of. Yes, it is very similar to Darkest Dungeon. But, instead of having the people you recruit in town, you're a necromancer who creates monsters and brings them to life to fight for you. So, But it works pretty much the same. It doesn't feel like it's quite as negatively balanced as Darkest Dungeon. Like, you don't get negatives on your characters when you get to certain insanity levels and things. So that seems nicer. It's a little bit more forgiving. Alright, these guys should be fairly straightforward, so we're just going to do our normal attacks against them for now. But let's go ahead and boost our damage first. I didn't do that last time, I should have. So let's boost our damage first. Yes, thanks for watching, Zodiac Q. And thanks for chatting. All right, let's do our crescendo to make them do less damage. Eh, I think we'll just attack. Nothing else exciting to do. He has a buff. What does he have? Nothing exciting. Oh, I forgot he has a block. Damn it. No damage. That's okay. Yes, thanks. I couldn't remember the name of Darkest Dungeon when I started playing this game for the first time. So I was like, oh, I can't remember the name of the game. I know it plays just like another one I played in the past. Uh, let's set him on fire. Fireball! Yeah, take that. Sweet. Go armor, absorb, go. Well, I would say if you want more of a challenge, Darkest Dungeon definitely seems more difficult than this game. This game seems like it's a little more straightforward and more forgiving. If you lose people, it seems much easier to just build new ones and, and continue forward without worrying too much about losing people. But um, And then you don't get the negative effects like you do in Darkest Dungeon. You know, you have some effects that can make your character almost useless in that game if you get certain negative bonuses or negative effects on you. So really, it's difficult. This one seems much more straightforward. You have physical damage, magic damage, and stress damage. So you can make the enemies insane, and you can give them heart attacks to kill them off, and all kinds of different things, which definitely seems good. I have not gotten to a boss yet in this game, so I don't know how that is. So that'd be the only thing. But uh, you also seem to get a lot more items in this game, so that seems good from what I've seen so far. So overall, both good games. But like I said, this one, if you found Darkest Dungeon probably too difficult, or just really unforgiving and wasn't very fun, this one I, I like, uh, I think would be a little more fun for you in that case. So. Mm. 
the abilities are pretty fun too. And I know in, in Darkest Dungeon you had problems where some of the some of the people would be in certain positions and like the attacks were just basically useless or they really couldn't do anything. Uh, this one I do like because almost all the monsters have at least one ability they can use in any position. So even if like the Dark Knight, who's kind of a tanky character, would be in the back, he can still do stuff. And like my zombie, who you think would be close range, he actually does have long range attacks. So all the way in the back, he can do at least two abilities. One is charge himself up to do more damage. And this one is, I wasted his turn, but next turn I get to do four bombardments to random characters. And if he move one square up, he could then do, uh, what is it? Well, he can do cannonball if he's one square forward. And I guess that's it, actually. That's it. He has to be in the other two if he does. But at least even in the back, he's still useful, which is nice. You do have the ability as well to use magic in the game to move characters up and like forward and backward. So that's kind of nice. So if I wanted him to move up, I could potentially move him up using magic. Take me a couple turns, but it would at least be doable. Haha, -ha, you missed. All right, so now, what does he have? He has a, he's ignited, minus eight to his attack, and mighty. Huh. Now let's try to kill him. Ooh, actually, let's do this. We're going to get some health back. We're going to use our special power, Abyssal Hunger, and that's going to hit all four of the enemies, drain 12 hit points from all of them, and restore it all to our Dark Knight. Yummy, yummy. See, that's what keeps the Dark Knight alive, but the last two times I couldn't use that ability, so he died, which sucked. But he's alive now, so... That is cool. What's he at? 15? Oh, we can just kill his ass. Yeah, let's just kill him. Alright. So you wouldn't be like that, do you? Oh, come on, you missed! All right, now we're going to do our Abyssal Bombardment. So what we did was we powered up using even more powder last turn. And now we're doing the Abyssal Bombardment to be able to do twice the amount of damage four times. So that might actually kill them next round. But let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, go insane. That's right. Yeah, we're just going to scream at him. Roar! Okay. So we got moved around. Oh, because I used the scream. That's why. That's okay. So we can still do two different shots here. Stress attack. Let's do a stress attack. Let's try to bring this guy down on tree. Oh, of course we miss. Why wouldn't we miss? Stupid. Okay. That's okay. Maybe we killed the one. Mistake. That's all right. me. Your last. Ah, we might as well just kill him. We got a cannonball available. Let's use it. Boom. Unless we miss. Oh, 55 damage. Heck yeah, he died. As your suffering ends, your service begins. All right, so we got some new items. We got four weapons. That's nice. We got a couple other random stuff. And we got a warding pendant. That must be an artifact. Not sure what that is. Let's take a look. All right, so our skeleton should be fully healed now. He was at eight hit points. And then we got 35 bonus experience. Oh, we did level to level two, or not two. We got another talent level. So let us see what we can buy at level two. Yeah, let's get Hail of Teeth. That'll allow us to attack one target twice with magic, which should be helpful. All right, our Banshee. So I don't tend to use many of the attacks other than this top one and the bottom one, so let's just keep going with that. We'll do this one, which looks like it gives us... Oh, it removes all buffs from the target. It also gives some extra damage. 
as well, so I think that'll be useful. Not that she does a lot of damage, though. Serve me well, my Worst case, it'll give us more dread. That'll cause us uh, cause them to take more of the insanity damage, so I think that'll be good, too. Alright, let us switch character in and out here. Let's get our skelly boy back here. And let's put in our banshee. All right, we're getting closer. We still need to get 18 more enemies to unlock somebody there. Still need to get a minions level five. So we're not quite where we need to get a new monster here, but that's okay. We'll keep going with what we got. Let's go back to the dungeon. We can go, oh, sacrificial altar. You know what? We need to make a monster for our sacrificial altar. So let's just make, we'll just make a skeleton, but let's not use any of the green parts. That would just be a waste right now. Craft a skeleton. Bones, bones, bones. Just so and let's go to the sacrificial altar. So what we're gonna do here. And then we're going to burn a skeleton. Sacrifice him to gain something. What do we get? We got a golden tooth, which will give us plus six luck to our monster. Some etched bones, accuracy, steel spikes, which is physical damage reduction. Some misericord, which is more reduction than the steel spikes. And a gambling chip. All enemies gain bigger until the battle ends. But we get six additional common parts after a victory. Oh, it's one time use. So that's like a random buff we can give. We get all the monsters or the enemies get more health, but we get more parts to make more monsters with. So I guess it's, they're trying to balance it out, right? It's interesting. All right, so now we got another battle here. What do we have? Another new guy. I don't recognize the guy at the end. Or the second one, actually. Interesting. Let's take our stronger squad here. into battle. Alright, we have an Ataman. And a Doomsayer. They're probably, I guess they're magic based. Alright. We'll just start as normal and just work on them and see what happens. So let's Let's just take down the easier guys right now, the Conscript first, work on him. And then let's attack, let's do a flame. That at least gives us some extra fire damage over time. Definitely doesn't hurt. What did he just get? What? When this character dies, the Doomsayer and his allies restore 50 Vigor and Sanity. Well, that's stupid. Ouch. They're wrecking our skeleton. Let's go and power her up. But try to wait for that stupid buff to leave. Damn it, our skeleton's almost dead. What the hell? It's like we just fixed one of them. Oh well, let's get rid of that block here. If nothing else.
Well, maybe we better just kill this guy off. So we can kill him and they restore the health and mana. It's not going to matter. Because they're basically at full health anyway. Right? What's that mark? Same thing? Damn it. Oh well. Let's go ahead and prep that bombardment for next turn. Do some damage hopefully. So, this is what a thousand years of evolution looks like? Yeah. Pathetic. Hey, our skeleton's totally going to die. Oh well. Just going to keep going with what we got. It's all we can do. They should block the attack. Ah, oh, I was hoping he still get lit on fire. He didn't. Well, that's good to know. At least he won't get lit on fire. Too. It's gonna suck. Oh, come on, enough damage to go. 12, 12. Yes, 16 critical. Nice. Oof. Okay. Slowly but surely getting in there. Hopefully nobody's gonna die, but yeah. I don't really have faith in that happening, so. Do the best we can. that do? Every attack is a critical hit. What? Man. It's annoying. Alright, hopefully... Oh, we can't do an attack. I forgot. Let's see, if we move him up Straight square, we can do Cannonball. That's such a waste, though. That's okay. Better killing him off than not, because I hate for my skeleton or somebody else to die, because they have you know, one hit point left or something. So we'll do the best we can. Doomsayer's up in two turns, so let's see. What can we do? I think our best bet is just hit him with chest piercer. Vorpal Smite, best option. Let's do it. The end is coming. Oh, great. What is that? At the beginning of the next turn, deals 100% 24 magical damage to all other characters. Really? Oh, crap. That could potentially kill our skeleton and our bride. Yeah, we gotta kill him off somehow. 31 hit points? Shit. I didn't notice he had a block. Fuck. Strength through pain. Whew! Cannonball saves the day. My will is a That was close. Wash away oh, we got a Humanarium token again. Try to look at that. That was a tough fight. Wow. Alright, well, we got to switch back out our Banshee for a skeleton again. Just upgrade here. Let's see. We're gonna have to sacrifice our wraith. Well, actually, wait. Maybe we can build a new one. Can we build a new wraith. Yeah, we'll just build a new wraith. Why do I get this sinking feeling in my putrefied gut? That now will allow us to 
heal, heal two people in one turn. So let's let's do that because I think we need it. All right. I forgot we got some new artifacts too. Yeah, I think we're good not using those items right now. I'm fine. Yeah, let's increase her luck a little bit. We're going to give her six luck. That'll give her a light, more likely chance to land a critical hit. Because she does a lot of criticals. Or she could do a lot of good things with criticals. So let's do that. Ooh, physical damage increase? That could be good, too. And our Dark Knight. Let's go ahead and give him... Physical damage received reduced. Let's do that. Okay. Okay, now. Oh, ancient tomb. Let's see what this does. Squad 2, march! Oh, sweet. We can raise a minion, huh? Do you want a Banshee, a Skeleton, or that guy? We already got two of those guys, so probably either a Banshee or a Skeleton. Let's get a second Banshee, because we only have one right, right now. And then we have five. Ooh, we got an Elite in this one. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, let's go. Group number two. Fight! Let the slaughter commence. What do we have? An elite Ataman? That's what they're called, Atamans. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. 145 and two blocks, really? Crap. We got a swordsman too. Wow. This group's not gonna be fun. Shit. We're just going to have to power up. Because if I do an attack, it's going to miss three of these. Actually, every single one has a block right now. Which just sucks. Let's do a crescendo. That will get rid of a couple of the wards, hopefully. You know what? Let's do the Bone Spear. That will get rid of these two blocks. This wretch. Now we can attack without a problem. Let's do that. Yes, yes. I like that. Okay, Edge of the Abyss. Now let's try to kill the Swordsman off, because I don't know what he can do since he's a new enemy. Damn it, not a trap. Son of a bitch. Get a debuff. That's weird. Must have missed. Yeah, strain their hit points. I don't care. Take it. Take it all. Damn it, Archer skipped the turn. Sucks. You guys are ripping me apart. Holy shit. Ha ha ha! 
yes. Betray. Betray. Oh, that was good. That was a good turn. Let's do that one more time. Won't be quite as much damage, but if we can just get a little bit more to these guys, hopefully they'll die. Actually, the pierce might work. Let's try this. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Yes! Wow, two down. Okay, that's good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. So next... Gotta do something about that guy. Because she's going to take so much damage to die, it's going to be hard to kill her. Ooh, I could almost kill him with this. Let's try it. How close can we get? There's no sun up oh, in the sky. <laughs> well, we got close. We killed him, so that worked. Okay. Target skips their next turn. Yes, let's do it. Ha ha. You can't do anything now. You suck. Die. Oh, shit. She had a block left. Well, that was good. At least we got a bunch of damage on her there. Let's do that one more time, actually. We may kill her before that, but, you know, doesn't hurt to try. Adding some bonus damage next turn. Wait, what? Why'd you get to go twice? Okay. I will take another attack. I don't care. So close. Two hit points. And you die. Okay, yay! We were successful. I was worried about that one. Definitely gonna need our get our banshee and archer healed though. Awesome. Okay, so let's go into our graveyard. And let's swap these two back out, because they are fully healed now, and get our banshee here and this archer in for healing. So then what we'll do is we'll swap back in these two now. All right, all right. We're gonna give him the bone for more accuracy. That way he's over 100%, so hopefully he won't miss now. Ooh, that could stun a target if I'm in the back. Not that I'm in the back much, but let's go ahead and get that I one for later. Expect results. Okay, and this bride. So we got that bonus to door him and this dude lung piercer. Has a chance to stun, which will be good. Plus it'll give us some more luck. Alright, I think we're done in here. Yeah, no real new items, so we're going to skip that. And to the dungeon! Let's get some new items. Second battle group. Alright, we got a spiked carapace. Saw that one earlier. Not a fan. We have a ring of decay. At start of combat, all enemies lose one. Ooh, one block. Ooh, that could be good though. Because then I can do more. I can do the physical without worrying about as many blocks on them. Or we have an outdoor fork. What? Parts drop ten percent more often. Huh. I kind of like the ring of decay. Let's put that on for right now. And I don't remember what my current ring is. Let's look. Oh, that's right. Increase the baseline chance an enemy will die due to a heart attack. It's good. I like the ring, but I think I'm going to switch this one on instead. I haven't had a lot of chance to get people down features. in stress to get to where they get heart attacks anyway. So let's just do that instead. Alright, two of the dungeon. Oh, oh wait, is that two golems? Holy crap. We're going to magic damage or some bullshit against these guys. Can't stress him out. Let's 
All right, we got to figure out what we can do here. So let's look. So we can do magic damage with our wraith. So maybe we should put him in. If I switch zombies, he does magical damage with his attack. Because that's what I made him do. Our skeleton might be useless. Yeah, he's basically useless. Our bride does do magic attack with that. Alright, so maybe that's our best bet. We'll use the Dark Knight as kind of a blocker, hopefully. Ugh, this just sucks. Alright. Let's give it a shot. Battle Squad 2! Battle! Alright. Ugh, this already sucks. What the hell are these guys? Mad Mage? I haven't seen these yet either. Shit. We got two frontliners, so I basically can't damage very easily. And then we got back guys who are just gonna do a ton of damage. Awesome. Awesome times. Now let's do some magic first. Let's go and do some Mad Mage magic. Attacks. No oh, nice. We stunned him. Well, that's good. At least one guy's out of combat for now. So I think actually our best bet might be to kill these mages first. So let's try to do that if we can. Damn it. Redirected. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Okay. Physical attack, probably not going to do much. Five whole damage. Woo! Haha! <laughs> Blocked. Haha! <laughs> Miss! It's still going to be a workout, though. Oh, what the hell? Well, that was dumb. Sun up in the sky. Damn it, redirected again. Son of a bitch. Ugh, these majors are tearing me up. Well, our archer here may die. That's going to be unfortunate. Oh, we finally hit. Oh, really? One hit point? Seriously? Shit. Kill him off. Kiss me off. Dust. Up in the sky, bony weather. Not having too much luck with these guys, but doing the best we can.
Ooh, 30 hit points of damage. Seriously? Crap. That's crazy. Oh, come on. Your frail bodies fail you. We got the mage done. Oh shit. Oh, there goes our newest black dark knight we made. He's now dead. And she's probably dead. Oh, she missed. Ah. <sighs> guys just suck. Please keep missing. It's good for us. Yeah, what sucks is I powered up the Dark Knight with a bunch of equipment. Now it's all gone. Say la vie. Oh shit, come on. That fixes accuracy, it just sucks. Uh, he's only 90%. <sighs> oh well. We should be able to kill him off with only taking the one casualty, so that's good. Just unfortunately, we had to take the one casualty. Yay. Ugh. That sucked. Alright, well, at least we still have lots of characters left. Alright, let's bring Skeleton to this one. The Banshee leveled. Get back to battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I think that's going to be our current lineup for now. Still can't make any new people yet, but that's okay. We're getting close, though. Oh, six more slain enemies, and we can actually unlock the Lich. So maybe I won't use any of my current stuff. We'll wait until we get the Lich unlocked. So I could always build another Dark Knight, but he keeps dying. Seriously, every time. So I don't feel like it would be worthwhile to do anything with him. What does the Lich, or not Lich, Banshee unlock? Apparently nothing. What the hell? Eh, we might as well unlock that. We got an extra skeleton. The excavation is far too extensive. No. This was not the result of a battle. All we'll put a Banshee there since we got her for free anyway. So we'll get an extra part. Random part after battle. Oh shit, I missed the lake. What does the lake do? Well shit. 
I totally missed that when I was looking at things before to unlock. Now we're gonna need some extra minions just to throw in there. To lay eyes on its full form would be to invite madness. Oh, well that'd be worthless. Let's not burn those. The bones. Okay. There we go. Let's make a skeleton. Humans become much sturdier when you strip them of their vital organs. Oops. Need a heart. Heart. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in the excavator a uh, skeleton works. And then in the dead lake, we'll put a bride. So that'll give us a 20% chance to find a random random artifact after a victory. All right, let's see how we're doing on time. We are we're at about two hours, so we'll probably end here for now. So we'll stop before doing the next battle. Well, you know what? We're going to go on up here. But since we're pretty much healed and I got rid of all the bad stuff, what we're going to do is we're going to get some mana. Because I did use a lot of mana last time. So we're going to max out to 100. Because we're going to need that for upcoming battles. So from here... Oh, we're getting close to the boss, though. Should we go and try to finish up to the boss and see what happens? Ooh, I don't think I want to go that way. Because we'll have an elite frickin' golem, plus whatever the hood guy is that I don't know about. Let's go this way. The other way just worries me. Oh, except we got those armor guys I don't like. Shit. Oh well. Too late to worry about it. Yeah, we have two exploders, which I'm not happy about either. Those guys can be annoying. have a stress attack. Eh. I think we're just going to try to pour the damage on this guy with ignoring the armor and see if we can get him down. I do kind of feel like taking one of these guys down would be good too, though. They just hurt a lot. There's no sun up in the sky. Bony weather incoming. Carve open their husks. He's already gone insane, really? Wow. Okay, cool. Okay, let's see. We have... Oh, what's that? That's fine. Oh, Archer's taking so much damage again. Oh, well. Oh, he's gonna run. Yeah, I mean, sucks that he's going to run, but I'm okay if he leaves.
Aha, one down. Shit, we almost got that guy. I guess we could just kill that one guy off. I'd like to get credit for killing him, so it's, I think it's better to kill him than not. Up in the sky, bony weather incoming. Yeah, suck it. Oh shit. He just lit up. Fuck. So he's gonna skip a turn. Then explode at the beginning of the next turn, killing himself and the two nearest characters to the left. So if I don't kill him, he's going to kill both of my characters here. Which is some bullshit. So what I'm going to have to do is a howl, because that will make him skip his next turn. I'm hoping that works. Then, oh, I can't do any more magic shit. I need to move him forward. Crap, all I can do is this. Another bombard. I think we got him. Yes. Woo! That was close. I was worried we were going to get ready to take a bunch of damage there. Damn it, I gotta look at those tokens. Let's go back. Let's do that now. I'm gonna forget to look at the tokens if we don't look at them now, so. Okay, we got some blood. We got those two, but I guess we didn't get anything, any artifact, which is fine. 20% chance. I wasn't anticipating we'd get on the first try. However. Uh, we don't have a tank for next round. That's gonna be a problem. Alright, we're gonna have to build somebody. We'll look in a moment. We got three talent points. Let's see if we can spend them on anything first. Gratis deals 25 physical damage. Additionally, deals 200% physical damage if target is debuffed. Mm. Doesn't sound that exciting, honestly. Huh. 50% chance of getting an extra brain. Interesting. I think maybe we'll wait on that just for a little while. I do want to look at this thing, because I'm going to forget. So what does this do? Uh, so this shows... I guess it just shows the stats of them. Gives you some lore behind them. Doesn't really seem to do anything, per se. To give you your attacks, it would be better. All right, we're going to need to build somebody, so do we build a skeleton or another Dark Knight? We haven't had a lot of luck with the Dark Knight. Because they keep getting killed on me. But... I guess we'll give it another shot. Hardly an inspiring leader, but the dead... Cannot. And we got a bunch of brains, so we'll go ahead and just upgrade using brains. Turn off that. Don't show that again. So we'll at least get him up to level three. Maybe let's get him some extra armor this time. Now, prove yourself worthy of my investment. And then we'll get him more damage here, maybe. We'll try We'll try something a little bit different. So it gave him an extra armor. Since that's what he's taking most of his damage with anyway. And let's see. We'll do that. And that guy. And these... No, not that one. These two. So now we have a group of number one we'll fight with. Number one battle squad. Oh yeah, we can sacrifice somebody too. Ah, I should have done that first. Crap. 
Guess we can get rid of a zombie. Sure. Well, that's interesting. At the beginning of combat, all enemies lose 20 to 30 vigor. Huh. Let's get a bundle of dynamite. We could use that against the boss. Hopefully it works against the boss. Hmm. Alright, we are going to go with our number one group here. See if we can survive. First things first, let's go ahead and buff up. So we can get some extra damage up in here. We want to physical damage somebody twice. Who do we want to hit? Oh, we got a mad mage. Ooh. Didn't see him. I really don't like the mad mage. There's oh, we didn't stun him. Sucks. In the sky. Bony weather incoming. And all these guys have magical wards. Guess we're hitting this guy. Awesome redirected. Great. Measure the strength. What is that? Shit, I missed it. I think it added to his attack. Ah, missed it again. Plus five attack, but I couldn't read the rest. Critical damage increase, too, if he hits with critical. Wow, that won't be fun. Oh, did we just miss our turn? Son of a bitch. Did that shit again. Up in the sky, weather Whew. Yeah, you missed. Haha. -ha. suck. <sighs> I will soon embrace your new existence. Yay. That could have been better. Sun up in the sky, bony weather incoming. Sweet. No, no, I don't want to use that. Save that. Uh, physical. Oh, wait, wait. Magic. Flames of love. Let's do that. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do it on the golem. I think. I don't know if I was going to make it this far. Get your health back, Knight! Yay! He's alive! Damn it! Stop attacking people! Freaking... <sighs> Wraith here is going to die. Good, good. 
Or at least he's dead. He's up next. Wraith and then Ataman. If she has magic ward. Let's just attack our golem. Maybe we'll kill him. Yes! Killed him. Nice. 14. Okay. Wraith could still die if he gets attacked. And he does. Damn it! Ugh. Now we're going to need another Wraith here at some point. I guess we don't need it. We're going to get some other characters back. So. We'll get a Banshee back, so. Okay, that could have been a lot worse. So I'm actually not too upset with that overall. I mean, of course, it you know could have been better. Can always be better, right? I did lose one person. But we do have a Banshee and a Bride coming back in. So at least they'll fill the slots. In theory. We've got Rags, Extra, and some more experience. Oh, we got four talents now. Is there anything... We want to get a level four. That could be good at some point. Through transformation, the will becomes free. Okay, we're gonna need more points for that later. But that's later. Not right now. We're good. Dynamite on. This item finds its way Put that on for the boss fight and make sure it works. Alright, so let's swap that bride over here. Oops. Let's go and grab our other bride and Banshee, and then we'll put our skeleton and bride in there. We're just going to have to go with having the Dark Knight hurt a little bit. But you know what? Let's swap the zombie to the front now. Let's do that. Maybe our bride needs to be in the back too. Uh, so many choices. Let's try this lineup for a change. Let's go like that. Alright, let us... I guess we should fight now. It's about as ready as we're ever going to be for the boss. So let us fight the boss, and then we'll probably end the stream here after the boss. So let us see the first boss fight of the game. All right, the keys in his possession granted this man great purpose. For a bribe and a favor, he was willing to carry missives, arrange fights, and allow gangs of criminals to quietly murder their competition while they slept. He saw himself as a king, and the keys were his crown. As long as they were needed, he was needed. But the undead care not for the jingling metal and for the man himself. They will have no need at all. Sweet, it did work. Everybody took 20 damage. Nice. Well, how much hit points does he have? What the hell? Two hundred seventy. Holy shit! All right. Impale this wretch. <laughs> this never. All right. So the plan is, I'm going to try to take these front guys out as fast as I can. Because if not, they're going to do a ton of damage to us here. I think the best attack is a volley. We hurt both of them. The Banshee's not going to be damaged, though. Uh, let's try to kill at least one of them, I guess. Sounds like the best bet. As worthless as you yes! Life, only one gets to attack us. Hopefully you attack the knight. Oh, of course not. Attack the Banshee. Oh, of course. Attack the Banshee again. Well, good thing I reduced his attack power, so that was good. Let's just go ahead and make them lose eight. 
attack power again. Oh, he's warded. Crap. How many wards does he have? One more. Stupid ward. He just summoned another guy. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Impale this wretch. Harmless annoyance in the world. Let's try to kill him, I guess. Oh, of course we miss. Why not? Why wouldn't we miss? Okay, we need to get rid of his last ward, so... He deals 50% damage. Okay, we're just gonna do this one, get rid of his other physical... Or one of the physical wards he has. So that's the magic wards, too, so... We're not quite through to getting to him yet. We're almost there. Working on it. Wretch. All right, now we have no physical warts, and now we can unload on him. Let's hit him with this. Try to do some damage to him because I don't know. He might get his wards back. I'm not sure. Damn it! He summoned somebody else. Death All right, so I'm gonna try just to focus on him now, I guess. Keep up Crescendo for now, we'll reduce the damage. Did that get rid of the ward finally? Alright, that got rid of his last ward. Perfect. Ooh, good cannonball. You know what? Let's give us some powder here. Next turn we'll cannonball. Do some major damage to him. Oh, he debuffed the Dark Knight. What'd you give him? 30% accuracy? Mm -hmm. That's okay, I guess. Oh, damn it. Another guy. Stop summoning people. It's like I kill one, then you bring more back. No, I'm not going to waste it. Let's just attack the front line guy. Damn it. Oh, that's right. We had the accuracy debuff. I forgot. I forgot. Crescendo. We're trying to keep their attack down too. So let's keep doing that. All right. Major cannonball. Sixty-eight to seventy-six damage against the big guy. Oh shit! He redirected. What? Fuck! I didn't know he could redirect. Shit. Should have been paying more attention. Well, that was my mistake, so. We're just gonna continue attacking him, hopefully. Will him down slowly. He's down about half, so we're doing barely good here, I wanna say. Sun up in the sky, bony weather incoming. <sighs> Annoyed. That's okay. We're getting the boss down slowly but surely. So maybe he's only have two people at most up. It looks like. So if I can just whittle him down a little bit more, we'll be in for. Oh, now he's got another one. Crap. <sighs> well, now he's got a full party. Extinction of life. All right, we got him to 48. Nice, nice, like that. Let's try to just pour it on, maybe we can kill him. Oh, crit! Oh, perfect! Yes! Critical hit at 57. Nice. Oh, we still got to finish these guys? 
Uh, I guess it could be worse. All right, we did kill the boss. Sweet. So that boss wasn't too bad. Just had to kind of pour the damage on him. And that seemed to do what we need to do to take him out. Oh no, he blinded us with the light. That reduces our accuracy, I believe. Yep. It's fine, whatever. I don't care. Ow, ow! Stop it! Don't kill my banshee. Moved her all the way forward. Run away! Okay. Don't really need to abyssal hunger. Oh. Forgot he had the accuracy problem. No, yes! Pieces. One more down. Only two left. Let's do buckshot. That'll do damage to both of them. Or do I want to do this? Maybe we'll do this one. It sets them on fire. Let's do that. Oh, well. It, it sets the one on fire that you managed to hit. Okay, you know what? Both you guys get attacked. Screw you guys. Flow. Nice. Another one bites the dust. So this right here, the next attack should finish off our enemy. As long as we don't miss. Which we didn't. Yay! Nobody died! I'm surprised. Nobody died. Using it as fertilizer. I've got the token for the boss. What is that? A hex bomb? That's new. And a hoop of fear. And oh, a purple weapon. And a blue blood. Some more green items. That was actually a pretty nice, nice round, I want to say. Sweet. All right, cool. So that concludes our first boss fight. So let us switch in some new people here. I guess these two are going in. Dark Knight level to four. Yeah, let's just do the face to faceless, I guess. What's this one? Right. Yeah, let's just do face to faceless. Get back to battle. And our bride, what is we going to give her? What are we going to get for her? So what other attack are we doing a lot? The main attack? Why don't we do that? Let's get... Let's do Lung Piercer. I like that one. It has a chance to stun the target. So I feel like that's worthwhile. Alright, back to here. So we still have a full party, even though one is kind of a duplicate. So maybe not the best idea. But we should, yes, we unlock a Lich. That's what I was hoping to get. So let's see. A powerful magical minion, but not really a true Lich. Rather, these are pseudo-liches that borrow some of the designs made by necromancers of old. Most notably, these minions do not actually hold the soul of a necromancer. Instead, they serve as carriers for devastating spells that often sow destruction on both allies and enemies alike. They have, however, been known to take on the mannerisms of their creator, which can be so convincing that other undead tend to obey them. What are their abilities? Bone shards. Max attack deals 115% damage to a random enemy. Okay. Command Undead, buff selected ally, gains plus 14 attack and plus 14 dread for two turns. Doesn't stack, huh. So we give somebody else a buff that increases their damage, which is not bad. Support, kills an ally. What? Really? So we kill an ally, but the Lich and all allies gain 45 vigor. Well, I guess if somebody's getting ready to die anyway, you might as well sacrifice them, but still, that kind of sucks. Toxic Cloud. So it's a trap. It creates a cloud at target position for two rounds, dealing 100% stress damage to any enemy that enters it. Rain of Fire deals 
50%, so 12 damage to all allies and enemies except itself. Really? Sets targets on fire for two turns, dealing 75% damage per turn. That seems to kind of suck. Reanimates. Summons a skeleton. Summon minion gains 8 attack, 8 dread, 6 armor, and resistance until the battle ends. Yeah, I'm not really liking this guy all too much. I figured, feel like I just do bone shards and command undead all the time. I guess Toxic Cloud, maybe. Weird. Well, might as well build one, but let's not use any of the green stuff until we know if we like him or not. Because the last thing I want to do is waste a nice upgrade on somebody I may not like. So what we'll do is we'll upgrade him to level 3. Yeah, I got some 3 flat. So we're going to put him up to level 3, give him... that one so we get extra bonus attack and stuff and then let's make sure he has some extra accuracy to hit because he was at 95 so he might miss occasionally but not too often Then I think we'll be done. For now. For now. Okay. So we'll put him in place of our bride. Level 3 bride. And just in case we have to do something, do we have to click... Yeah, we have to click the exit, it looks like. Choose a battle squad. Number 1. Alright. The hunger for wealth had long since become the only virtue among the hardly dwarven folk, or sorry, hardy dwarven folk. Gone are their ancient traditions along with the names of their ancestors for what was more powerful, logic or some dead dwarf rotting away into dust. Their ruthless scientists and alchemists knew the answer to that question, and the human kingdom was more than willing to facilitate their experiments. They have grown rich and feared, setting up their own enclave and became the default overseers of the mines. So it looks like we're now in the Dwarf Tunnels. So this will be our new map. We're probably not going to get through it today. It's a pretty big map, actually. Zoom out a little bit. So here's our new fun map to try. Until we get to the boss. I don't know what the hell that is. Some sort of stone eyeball thing. I don't know. All right. Well, for everyone who watched today, thanks very much for watching. If you like what you see, please follow us so you can watch more videos. Uh, if people seem interested in this one, I'll play it some more. Otherwise, I'm, I'm kind of playing lots of different games to see what people are interested in watching. But, you know, throw me a, a chat line if you want. Uh, we do have a Discord set up. And I will be posting this to YouTube as well. But other than that, hopefully everybody had fun watching part two of the first gameplay encounter of Eratus, Lord of the Dead. Thanks everyone for watching. This is Bobby from Day After Day Gaming, and keep on gaming day after day. Have a wonderful rest of a Sunday.